Hey guys, what is up and welcome to a new episode of the Diginos series. This episode will be featuring Malphite. A quick mention that I'll be doing an Ask Me Anything on the League of Legends subreddit right now. So if there's anything you've ever wanted to ask me, this is the place to go. I'll put a link to it in the description below. But let's get right into Malphite's abilities. The cooldown of Malphite's passive starts at 10 seconds at level 1, but it decreases to 8 seconds at level 7, and then 6 seconds at level 13. Don't forget, there is a pretty obvious visual effect telling you whether or not Malphite's passive is up. The rocky texture of course meaning that his passive is active, and the molten texture meaning that it is not. Malphite's Q will steal move speed from the target for the full 4 second duration as long as the Q actually connects with the champion, no matter whether the target dies afterwards, uses cleanse, Q assess, or even if it's a Master Yi with ultimate on. This ability, even though it travels somewhat underground, can still be blocked by things like Yasuo's Windwall or Braum's Shield. Malphite's W activation has no cast time, meaning it will not interrupt any previous action. However, unlike most auto-attack empowering type abilities, Malphite's W is not an auto-attack resetter, however the splash damage it provides can be amplified by critical strikes. Did you know that none of Malphite's abilities get lower in cooldown as you level them except for his ultimate? Crowd control effects have no effect on Malphite if he's mid ultimate, so the only way to stop his ultimate is to kill him midway. The dashing speed of Malphite's ultimate can actually be increased based on how much move speed you have as you initially cast it. The calculation is quite simple, 1500 plus whatever move speed Malphite had as he used his ultimate. Malphite's Q ability, his E, and his ultimate can all be blocked by Spell Shield. Alright guys, there's not much more to say about his abilities, so let's jump into the cool facts and lore. The designer of Malphite was Koronak, who also made many other champions, for instance Katarina, Akali, Udyr, Elise, Ramis, and so many more. For whatever reason, the voice artist from Malphite is still unknown. Did you know that Malphite's E ability actually leaves the logo of Riot Games on the ground? Even though I'm assuming it's supposed to be something like his fist making the imprint. Malphite is one of the few champions to have several textures created for him per skin. One of course being without his passive showing him in a molten state, then you have his regular form, and then you have his form whenever his W is active. Did you know that Malphite's dance resembles a dance that is called Jenga? Malphite has the same quote as our beloved Ramis. Okay. Okay. Just like Rek'Sai, Malphite's true size is several times larger as seen in his splash arts, but it is heavily reduced within the summoner's rift to match his opponents. From this, let us go into Malphite's lore. Malphite is from an area inhabited by rocky beings called the Monolith. It is a place of perfect harmony where its inhabitants work to fulfill their duty to the fullest, functioning as a superorganism or hive. Malphite has always strived to live up to his full potential, enforcing his people's flawless vision of order. However, out of nowhere, a rift opened up and summoned Malphite to Runeterra, taking him away from his kind. The summoners there plead to Malphite to help them bring harmony to this chaotic world. Malphite saw this as a respectable goal and decided to help them. He now hammers those who would seek to upset Valorant's movement towards order. With all this, Malphite's faction is still listed as being independent, with also having an unknown residence. Malphite's joke Caught between a rock and a hard place is actually an idiom, talking about how you can be either in a difficult position or forced to make an undesirable decision. Overall, most of Malphite's quotes, though not as simple as Ramus's, are fairly straightforward one-word quotes. Yes. Going. Smash. Die. Pain. Okay. Sure. Uh-huh. Malphite is friends with Skarner and Maokai, and his reasoning for being friends with Maokai is the fact that both of them are elementals, and apparently according to Malphite, two elementals get along quite well despite their differences. Obsidian Malphite could have been inspired by the destroyers from the game Guild Wars. Marble Malphite may be related to the Nagrand Zone from World of Warcraft. Glacial Malphite not only shares this theme with Olaf, but could also refer to Ymir, who is a primeval figure in Norse mythology. Mecha Malphite could have been inspired by either Pacific Rim or Transformers. 
His backing animation in this skin has him transform into a drilling machine similar to the Labyrinth tank from Yu-Gi-Oh. It is possible that the Yordle Ziggs and Heimerdinger created Mecha Malphite as they can be seen in the splash art. This Mecha theme is shared with Kha'Zix and Aatrox, with Malphite being referred to as Prototype 06 by Heimer. Alright guys, that is it for this episode of Did You Know featuring Malphite. If you did enjoy, please don't forget to throw in a like, share it with your friends, come by my reddit ask me anything, and also check out the previous episodes of this series and my other videos as well. As always, hope you guys enjoyed it, hope to see you next time. Peace!